Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how you can parent your real flow emitter to a moving object. So here we are in 3ds Max and I've got a very basic scene set up here, just a pipe rotating and I'm going to show you guys how you can actually link or parent your emitter to this pipe. So first of all I'm going to go here to the top where it says SD file export settings and I'm going to export my entire scene, auto detect is fine and I'm going to export my active time segment from 0 to 100 frames, that's all good and then you just need to set your uh, export folder and then I'm just going to call this export and I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to click the export button to export that SD file so if we go to that folder quickly then you'll see you've got your SD file there all right, so let's jump into RealFlow and before I'm going to start a new project, I'm just going to click on File and Preferences and then make sure that your geometry scale is set to 0.1 if you're coming from 3ds Max because that's the correct scale to use uh, for 3ds Max and then we're going to click on File, New Project and I'm just going to save it into that same folder so let me just browse there quickly okay, and then I'm going to give it a name, uh, let's just call it parent or something like that and then click on create a new project okay so first of all we need to load our sd file so i'm going to go to import object and then it's going to ask me to browse to my sd file so let me just go there quickly and then select your export.sd click on open and that's basically going to import that scene so if we just uh, rotate around here you'll see that we've got the box and the pipe and if i scrub through this you'll see that we've got the animation as well so by default uh, real flow actually opens a 200 frame timeline so i'm just going to change this to 100 to make it the same as my 3ds max uh, project and uh, so you see we've got that basic animation Right, so first of all, I'm going to click on uh, liquid particles here and I'm going to create a circle emitter and it's going to create a little circle here in the middle and then I'm going to press E on my keyboard to rotate and I'm just going to rotate this about 90 degrees, um, just something like that. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to press W to switch to the move tool and I'm just going to move it up and then also to the point uh, of this pipe something like that should be fine and then i'm going to press r to go to the scale tool and i'm just going to scale it down slightly so it's matching the size of that pipe let me just move it out a little bit more so it's kind of just in front of that pipe system All right so basically we want to link that emitter to this pipe where it's rotating around and it's really simple so if i go to my uh, relationship editor at the bottom and uh, you'll see you've got the circle which is the emitter and then we've got the tube here, which is actually that uh, geometry that we want to parent it to. So I'm going to click on circle on the emitter and then right at the top, if I just scroll up here under the node section, you'll see you've got a parent to. And if you click on that, it will give you all the elements or all the uh, geometry in your scene. And I want to parent it to this tube 001. Just click on that and then click on OK. And that will basically link it. So if I scrub through this now, you'll see that my emitter is actually linking to that object, which is really cool. So if we just add a quick um, gravity demon here, I'm just going to move it out of the way. And if we do a quick simulate, you'll see that we've got um, our particles and it's actually linking to that spinning object. And that's basically how easy it is to link your emitter to moving objects. Cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of any new tutorials. Cool, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.